San Francisco Bay. For your weather report today, you have a high about 63 and a low of 52 and about a 5 mile per hour wind. Now at the top story with Jack Stolton. Top story today on working time machine, true or false? Now reporting live with Lauren Shorts. We are here live with a time machine in the bathroom of a gas station. We are here to talk more about this wonderful, great invention with Tori Thompson, the creator. Tori, what would you like to say about your invention, the time machine, and how does it work? Well, I can tell you how it, wor how it works, but I cannot tell you how I made it. But I can tell you that I got up at 6.30 in the morning to run a diagnostics for you, so you better like it. Thank you. Now we are going to test the time machine out. Here's how it works. Here, we try this one. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's starting. Oh, here we go. Go ahead. Come on, guys. Here. To see Marco Polo, of course. What are we sitting around for? Come on, let's go find him. Okay. May I ask you what you're doing? Oh, I was just looking for Marco Polo. Kevin, that is Marco Polo. Oh! Marco Polo, what a pleasure to meet you. We have our, I have so many questions to ask you. Where are we? Are we in China? Are we in Venice? Huh? Yes, we are in Venice. Yes. How did we get here? What do you mean how we got here? You traveled, didn't you? Long story. I had thousands of questions to ask you. What did you do first decide to go to China? I'll just tell you my story. Does that sound good? That would be just great. Well, let me start at the beginning. It was September 15th, 1254, the day I was born. It was in Venice, where we are now. I lived there for 17 years. My dad and uncle left home. While they were gone, my mother died. They came back when I was 15. They then took me on their journey with them two years later. We went from Venice to Jerusalem. From there on, we went to Tabriz, then Kerman, then Balk, then Kashgar, and finally, Shagan, China. When we got there, we were fascinated by their gunpowder, the kite, the Pony Express, the little black stones that were burnt at night, also known as coal, the water clock, and the umbrella. We stayed there for 12 years. We finally came back. We got there 10 years ago, and now I am here in Venice with you guys. Wow, didn't you go to jail for a year? What? Oh well. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you come to my study? Can tell you, so I can show you my work. Okay, let's go! Nice, you almost ruined everything. I'm sorry. <coughs> Let go of us! We can't, you're under arrest. Take me, not her! She didn't do anything! Orders are capture anyone with Marco Polo and Marco Polo. What are we going to do? I have an idea. Follow me. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. <sighs> Going on your way now. 
Come on, you guys, hurry. He has to come. No, we'll mess up time. Come on, we're running out. What? How? Time will what? Come on! She's right. Go! Bye. Where's the girl? I don't know. Come on, let's hurry. You guys, come on, we're not gonna make it. Our time travelers from this morning should be coming expected soon. I wonder how that time travel works, huh? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. We're here! Oh, well, I guess they're here. Um, should we keep going? Okay, well, Lauren, did you, what exactly did you do? We met Marco Polo, of course. Marco Polo? Is that all you did? You didn't get chased by dinosaurs, did you? No. You guys think this is a joke. No, no, we believe you. Yeah. <laughs> well, for all the people who don't know Marco Polo, he's actually a really nice guy. Come on, let's go, Tori. Well, you heard the truth yourself. Good night.